this video, I'll show you how to make $500 plus a day in your cargo van or your 16 foot box truck. In order to make $500 plus a day in your cargo van or 16 foot box truck, you, you must have a strategy. All right. My strategy is you want to split your day in half. All right. You want to have an AM route and you want to have your PM route. All right. Your AM route will consist of dedicated runs. All right. You can get dedicated runs for your cargo van or your 16 foot box truck from companies like T-Force, Capstone, Waco, and US Pack. Usually these companies um, will provide you with small parcel package deliveries. For instance, T-Force has Office Depot. Uh, Waco uh, and Capstone have staples, depending on the market. US Pack has a mixture of different things from auto parts to office supplies, whatever you think of, they, they, they deal with it, all right? Um, actually, also Capstone has the United States Postal Service contract where you'll be delivering uh, big sacks of e-commerce goods to the post office. All right, so that's another uh, uh, account that you can get for a cargo van or a 16-foot box truck. And I actually did a video on that um, in the past, uh, and I'll put that over here, or over there, somewhere. Um, and that's what you want to focus on in the morning. Uh, those small parcel uh, dedicated runs usually pay somewhere between 150 to 425 a day. Now I know that's a big wide uh, uh, gap. All right. It's a big wide range, I to say, but what you're going to get paid is going to depend on how many pieces you get, because these accounts pay by the piece. And it also depends on the volume and that volume depends on the market you're in. Obviously a high density market is going to produce more volume. So if you're in a big metropolitan city, there's going to be more volume. All right. Now you want to get to your dedicated run early. Like I said, loadout starts sometime between five and six. You want to be there as soon as you can. The earliest you can get in there and start loading up your van or your truck is when you want to be there. And the reason why is because you want to get your van or your truck loaded up as soon as possible so you can get to your route as soon as possible. Uh, a typical um, small parcel route for one of these companies uh, can usually end. If you get to load out by 5 a.m., no later than 5.30, you can be done sometime between 12 and 2. All right. I actually stole a guy away from FedEx who was a FedEx uh, driver. So he was used to doing a multitude of stops a day, 180, 200 plus stops a day. And he was able to get 50 to six, 50 to 60 office depot stops done for me by 11 a.m. every day. He would pick up the truck at 5 a.m. or 4.30 a.m., be at Dynamics by 5, 5.30 a.m. He'd do 50, 60 stops, and he'd be back at my yard by 11 a.m. every day. But like I said, I stole him from FedEx, so he was used to doing a multitude of stops a day um, with FedEx. So he, when he came over here to do 50, 60 stops, it was a piece of cake. My second best guy was able to be done by 2 o'clock every day. All right, And that included him traveling back to my yard. He would be back at my yard by two o'clock. All right. So you should be able to get done by sometime between noon and two. Um, obviously the, the longer you're on your route, you get to know it, you become more familiar with it, right? You become more efficient with it and you can get your route done. It's possible. All right. So if you finish your route sometime between 12 and two, like you should, you still have the rest of the day. All right. So now this is where you make money for the, for the second part of your day. The first day, first part of your day, you're going to make somewhere between 150 to 425 depending on your market, depending on volume, right? You got two options for the second part of your day. This is the strategy for the second part of your day. You can do direct to consumer jobs, direct to consumer based jobs, or you can work the gig apps. All right. So the strategy for direct to consumer based jobs is you want to focus on small one man pickup and deliveries or small moving jobs that one man can do. All right. There's two options on how to market this business. One is Craigslist. You wanna create a generic ad for Craigslist and post it, one man with a cargo van, or you can say one man with a sprinter van, one man with a, 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 a van. Do a one man with a van ad, and then with an ad, you wanna do a generic ad. One man with a van will do small pickup and deliveries or small moves for you. And then you can have a generic list of jobs that you do. Um, this is a great option for one man in a van or one man in a 16 foot box truck. My moving company has always gotten um, calls from law firms, for instance. Hey, we got 50 bankers boxes. We need these banker boxes picked up from uh, uh, one of our offices and we need them taken across downtown to another office we have on the other end of downtown. That's something one man can do with a, with a dolly. All right. Uh, or we need 50 bankers boxes picked up at one of our law offices and we need to, we need them taken to court. 
You know what I'm saying? So that's something you can do. There's also other one man small moving jobs, one man small pickup and delivery jobs. Hey, I got a small item and I need picked up uh, and I'm giving it to my daughter. How much? Uh, I need a small uh, nightstand picked up. I need a table with four legs. It's something small. One guy can handle it. You flip the table upside down. You unscrew the legs. You take it out. You throw it on your bed. You deliver it. These are all like $100 jobs. One hour, hour and a half jobs that you can charge a flat rate of $100, 125 bucks. All right? Um, if you have a buddy for the second part of your day, you can grab a buddy and then you can do bigger, smaller moves. You can do $99 couch pickup and deliveries, all right? You can do $99 mattress pickup and deliveries, mattress and box spring pickup and deliveries, all right? There's also a big market for Ikea pickup and deliveries. There's always someone buying something from Ikea that doesn't want to wait uh, and go through the scheduling process to deal with uh, Ikea and whoever they partner with, depending on market for third party, uh, whoever they whoever the third party logistics company that they partner with in whatever specific market and wait two or three days or whenever the next uh, open availability is to get whatever it is they're buying in the store delivered to them. Some people want their stuff quicker, sooner, which, which, which is what's called on-demand delivery in the logistics industry. So what they'll do is they'll go to Craigslist or then they'll go to another application I want to talk about now, Thumbtack, and they'll try to hire a guy with a small truck, 16-foot box truck, or a cargo van to come pick up the stuff that they bought at Craig's, I mean, at Ikea, all right? They want the stuff the same day on demand. From there, you can get the scope of the job when they call you, and then you can give them a flat rate on whatever it is, depending on how far you got to go to pick the stuff up, uh, wherever the Ikea is located at, to wherever you got to drop the stuff off at. So once you get the scope of the job, then you can give them a flat rate. Um, another thing that you can use for direct-to-consumer is Thumbtack. I'll put my code um, in the description below, um, you use my code, um, you'll get $100 worth of leads to get you started on Thumbtack. Uh, you can use Craigslist and Thumbtack. Thumbtack, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, activate moving on the Thumbtack. Once you get signed up, once you go into settings, you're going to activate moving. And there's going to be a, a, a bunch of options for you to choose. You're going to toggle just a few things, all right? That way, you're going to leave like studio, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, so on and so forth off. And the only thing you're going to turn on is just a few things, right? If it's just you, because now you're only going to get the small jobs, boxes, small furniture, things of that nature. Now, if you do have a buddy for the second half of your day, then you can probably toggle on just a few things, studio, dorm. And if you have a 16 foot box truck, you can also toggle on um, one bedroom apartment. Once again, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and you can use that link and sign up with Thumbtack and that'll give you $100 worth of free leads to get you going, get you, you know, getting jobs and earning money. All right. The next thing that you can do on the second part of your day is work the gig apps. Now, a lot of people try to focus specifically on the gig apps and, you know, some markets you can, you know, stay busy all day with the, the gig apps, depending on the time of the year depending on if you're in a big market or not, but not every market has just an overabundance of work on these gig apps. So the gig apps are basically there to supplement whatever else you got going on, right? You know, you use the gig apps to supplement like dedicated work. When your dedicated work is done or if your dedicated work slows up, you just fill it in the gaps, right? Apps like Curry, um, GoShare, uh, Roadie is a good one. Um, there's an Amazon flex in damn near every single market. Task rabbit is another one that you can toggle on and people will hire you to do certain tasks. Like some of the stuff that I talked about with the direct to consumer, picking up a table, picking up an ottoman, going to Ikea, picking up a pallet mattress, picking up a small table, picking up whatever it is that they're buying, an easel, a, a small computer desk, a nightstand. All right. So you can use the gig apps to supplement income for whatever you didn't make or whatever your goal is to make uh, for the day. Um, Amazon Flex is a really good option for that because every single market has an Amazon Flex. Every single market. Curry is another good option. Um, Sherwin Williams is big in my market on, um, on Curry. There's opportunities all day long. Rody is another good one. 
there's plenty of good batches for Walmart, Home Depot, Fanatics in my market for Rody. All right. So you have to, you know, hustle those apps the second part of your day. And that's how you're going to increase your earning throughout the day. When you got a cargo van, you got to work it. You got to go look for those opportunities. If you want to make $500 plus a day, you know what I'm saying? You might not be able to just rely on one thing. Not every market is going to have volume for a dedicated route. If you're in a smaller market with low density, you may have to do a dedicated run in the morning, direct to consumer jobs in the, in, the, in the afternoon, or hustle the gig apps in the afternoon. All right? And that's how you do it. www.boxtruckcourses.com for your one-on-one coaching with me, Martin Mentor. I'm out. Thank you.